Hi, I'm Jennifer Morgan. I'm the Hunter Education Program Coordinator with New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. And before we get into our second wildlife ID challenge, I'm going to talk about the importance of habitat for wildlife. Of course, the key components to wildlife is food, cover, water, and space. And how these parts are arranged is extremely important for the survivability of any animal species. So let's take a population of mule deer, for example. And we're gonna put this population at the foothills of the Sandia Mountains, just east of Albuquerque. So we've got our mule deer living there, and that's where their food is. Then all their water is down in the Rio Grande in the Bosque. And then when they need to find any kind of cover, they have to go somewhere else. So if that's how that habitat is put together, that mule deer population is not going to be able to survive. So quality habitat is when we take all these components of food, water, cover, and space, and we arrange them close together so the animal doesn't have to try very hard to get everything to survive. And of course, if all of that is in good supply and can support that population throughout the year, that's called carrying capacity. Of course, a habitat can only support so many animals for so long. If a habitat becomes too crowded, especially if there is drought or something that negatively affects that habitat and we lose food, water, cover, or space, these animals are going to struggle to survive and it may cause them to die of starvation or of disease. Habitat loss is the greatest threat to wildlife, and urban development is the biggest cause to the loss of wildlife habitat. As hunters, you are wildlife managers. When there are excess animals in an area, this allows the Department of Game and Fish to offer hunting opportunities for those species. As hunters, you are taking the excess number of animals from that population to keep it at healthy levels with the habitat. This is conservation the wise use of natural resources. If you'd like to follow along about the topics on habitat and wildlife conservation, you can refer to your hunter education manual on pages 64 through 66. If you don't have a manual, you can download one for free at the link provided. Okay, so let's get into the second wildlife ID challenge. Go grab your friends and family members, have them compete in the challenge with you, and put your answers in the comments below. To see how you did, you can refer back to your Hunter Education Manual on pages 68 through 89. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time and good luck.